Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. World perceives India as credible development partner, says Jay Shankar. Iran Khan denies a betting lawyer's drive by murder. A Nepal PM defends a Khand Bharat map in India's new parliament. And now for all the details. India's Foreign Minister Este Shankar on Thursday said India is now increasingly being perceived by the world as a credible and effective development partner. Today, the second image of India is that of an economic collaborator. He said as he addressed a press conference to mark nine years of PM Modi's government and its foreign policy. Jay Shankar said that India has delegitimized cross-border terrorism from Pakistan and deftly handled a Chinese incursion in the northern borders. He said India does not get swayed by coercion and false narratives as he reiterated that ties with China won't be back to normal unless the border issue is resolved. या तो आप कहें कि नेबरहुड फर्स्ट के कारण हम टेररिज्म को साइड में रखें और पाकिस्तान के साथ कोऑपरेशन बढ़ाते जाएं ये ना तो देश की सेंटीमेंट है ना मोदी गवर्नमेंट की सोच हमारी कोशिश थी कि चाइना के साथ भी हमारे पड़ोसी हैं देश के सबसे बड़े इकोनॉमी हैं और हम तो चाहेंगे कि रिश्ते अच्छे हो पर रिश्ते तभी अच्छे हो सकते हैं जब तक जब बॉर्डर एरिया में पीस और ट्रैंकुलिटी हो और जब कोई अग्रीमेंट हो तो उसका पालन होना चाहिए Further, speaking on comments by Canada's NSA that India interferes in domestic politics, Jay Shankar said it is a situation of the pot calling the kettle black. It is we who had a complaint with them, he said, while referring to Ottawa's inaction on anti-India forces that call for Khalistan. And Pakistan's former PM and opposition PTI Supremo Imran Khan has denied his involvement after local police on Wednesday formally named him in connection with the murder of a lawyer who was seeking sedition proceedings against him. Son of the slain lawyer has claimed his father was killed by unknown gunmen with the abetment of the former Prime Minister. Dismissing the allegations, Khan has said the charges against him are concocted by his opponents. ये कभी इंडिविजुअल नहीं करता तो ये वही एक उनमें से केसेस थे जिन्होंने उनमें, उनमें मुझे फंसाया हुआ था अब ये सोचें कि उसके ऊपर मेरे ऊपर इन्होंने 302 का मुकदमा कर दिया और मेरे ऊपर कत्ल का केस कर दिया वाज है मुझे नजर आ रहा है कि क्या करना है इतने ज्यादा केसेस हैं मैं अब इस्लामाबाद जाना है कल कुछ सोलह केसेस के ऊपर मैंने बेल लेनी है सोलह केसेस के ऊपर कभी किसी और पॉलिटिकल लीडर के ऊपर कभी ऐसा हुआ है Meanwhile, Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah talking to a local news channel claimed that the government has credible information linking PTI chief to the May 9th violence. Khan, who is embroiled in a confrontation with the powerful military, has at least 150 cases registered against him, including the terrorism charges. Well moving on residents of various localities in Pakistan's Karachi city are upset over the dilapidated drainage system which has led to sewage water accumulating onto the roads a report lack of a proper drainage system in Pakistan's largest city Karachi has made life difficult for residents as sewage water has accumulated in many localities pedestrians cannot cross roads without stepping in the dirty water The unhygienic condition is also providing mosquitoes and diseases a breeding ground. Despite raising the issue with the authorities, no action has been taken so far. ये बात पांच से छह महीने हो गए हैं ये इलाके का पूरा हाल है कोई सुनने वाला नहीं है काफी माशाल्लाह चैनल वाले भी आके जिम ट्रेनिंग देके लोगों को यहाँ पे देखो सुनने वाला नहीं यहाँ पे कितनी पार्टियाँ जी हैं वो कहते हैं वो हमारा काम है वो कहते हैं हमारा काम है सब आपस में लगे हैं लेकिन कोई मसले का हल सब सुल ढूंढ रहा नहीं है मच्छर पैदा हो रहा है गंदगी है लोग नमाज पढ़ने नहीं जा सकते यहाँ पे और टाउन फैल रहा है यहाँ पे बहुत ही गंदी हालत हो गई है देखिए यहाँ तनख्वाह लेने वाले सारे के के बंदे बैठो तो ऑफिसर सब माल खा रहे हैं कोई काम करने के लिए तैयार नहीं है बोला हमारे हाथ में नहीं है रेजिडेंट्स वरी दैट देर प्रॉब्लम वुड राइज फर्दर एज द मानसून सीजन वेन द होल ऑफ कराची फेसिस अ फ्लड लाइक सिचुएशन 
The Amnesty International, in a fresh report, has described the Taliban's cruel treatment of civilians in Afghanistan's Panjshir province as war crimes against humanity. The report states that the Taliban forces arrest and imprison men and youth in the villages and subject them to beatings and all kinds of harassment under the pretext of having affiliation with the National Resistance Front fighters. After the Taliban seized power in Afghanistan in August 2021, some members of the former Afghan government's security forces fled to Panjshir with equipment and arms to join the National Resistance Front. In response, the Taliban retaliated against captured fighters and targeted the civilian population of Panjshir to force compliance and submission. And members of the Inter-University Students' Federation in Sri Lanka on Wednesday marched on the outskirts of capital Colombo to demand the release of student activists arrested in earlier anti-government protest and to get help amid the high cost of living among several demands. Riot police responded with water cannons and tear gas. The protesters said the slashing of the health and education budgets under President Ranil Vikramasinghe's government were hurting students and called for an increase in the monthly stipend. Adhyapanaya saukya kapadu kirima nisama vishwavidyala paddhadiye devanta kerala pramaniyak nirmane vila adhyanava. Rade adhyapanaya paddhadiye devanta kerala pramaniyak nirmane vila adhyanava. Well, Sri Lanka, with the help of $2.9 billion, IMF bailout is trying to recover from its worst financial crisis. The IMF said in April it expected the Sri Lankan economy to contract by 3% in 2023, given the weak external environment and domestic policy tightening, before registering a modest growth of 1.5% in 2024. Amid the uproar by the opposition on the Akhand Bharat morale in India's new parliament, Nepal's Prime Minister Pushkamal Dehel assured the lawmakers that the questioned map holds no political significance. Discussions were held regarding a controversial map with the Indian side, the Kathmandu Post quoted him as saying. Before Dehel's visit to India, opposition lawmakers in Nepal had raised objection over the map and had asked him to seek clarification. Apart from Nepal, Pakistan and Bangladesh have also raised objections over the map's morale in the Indian parliament. However, Indian authorities have said the artwork is depicting the spread of the prehistoric Ashokan Empire. And the National Kulmboka Tour Championship held for the first time in India's Jammu and Kashmir this week attracted a large number of enthusiasts. Over 200 players from 12 states took part in the two-day event in Srinagar city. Kumbhakatur is one of the oldest martial arts originating from Cambodia. It uses a diverse array of elbow and knee strikes and shin kicks. During the championship, two Cambodian coaches also shared the expertise of the martial art form, which aims to develop mental and physical strength through self-defense techniques. हमारे हमारे लिए तो बहुत ही ज़्यादा प्रिविलेज और बहुत ज़्यादा खुश है क्योंकि पहली बार इंडिया में हो रही है और पहली बार कश्मीर में ही आई हुई है तो कश्मीर के बच्चों के लिए प्लस पॉइंट है कि वो पहली बार ही देख सकते हैं ऑलमोस्ट हर कोई प्लस पॉइंट उनके पास है कि उन हम कश्मीर में एमएमए भी खेलता है टाइक मोड़ा हर कोई टेक्निक है तो हम इस गेम में इजीली मेडल अक्वायर कर सकते हैं एनजे के प्लेयर हम यहाँ बोकाटो गेम खेलने के लिए आए हैं सर कंपटीशन काफी अच्छा रहा यहाँ पे माहौल भी अच्छा है और ये गेम भी बहुत हमें बढ़िया लगी सर मतलब इससे मोटिवेशन भी हुए सर मोटिवेट भी हुए और इससे मतलब सेल्फ डिफेंस भी होता है गर्ल्स के लिए भी बढ़िया है सर वेल दैट्स ऑल इन टुडेज एडिशन विल द सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज़ बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया breaking news and views from india